amazing? It's amazing. I'm so grateful to sit here. Uh, you sort of exploded into that moment. There was something about what just happened that got your juices flowing. Let's so, talk about it. So I've been um, meditating regularly. I found you and been listening like nonstop on YouTube. It's amazing to see you moving. It's not a photo of a landscape. <laughs> uh, and I'm so thankful because I know that with my gratitude, so much more is coming in. And yeah. I, uh, yeah. I put this... Better you feel, the better it gets. The better it gets, the better you feel. I just, yeah. and I cry and I'm, it's just my body is like receiving. Well, that, you know this. what that is? That's opening the valve. That crying is the relief that you're feeling as you're letting go of resistance and the natural energies are being allowed by you to flow. Yeah. Yeah. I did a 14 year marriage and I sat in the car driving going, God, I need a sign. Is I'm doing the work. Do I stay? Do I leave? You know, a, a, a brick hit the windshield on my <laughs> partner's side of the car. And I was afraid that, like, what does that mean? It wasn't a text that said stay or leave. It was just, you know, because I was afraid, I was afraid to, to, to own a bigger life. And now I, now I am. And, you know, I put all these things on my vision board and a bunch of them happened so quickly yeah. in my mind that I thought was so quick. Yeah. And they were like a vision board's a sneaky way to let things happen because it feels like it's a game And when you put things on it, it causes you to focus upon what you want And then the universe kicks into high gear and because you thought it was a game You let them in and then when you find the vision board buried behind the coats in the closet and you say Holy cow right. everything on this right. vision board has uh, happened I was picking yeah. up pieces that fell off. I'm like, oh my god that happened. Oh my god and I got this and here's the thing so I want to stay in gratitude this thing and so from what you've heard you came with some things going on and then you listened intently as we've been talking here and so at this moment in time where do you want this conversation to go in other words where are you and what do you want to profess from your now point of knowing from my now point of knowing I feel the the part of there's a story that wants to pinch because I want to complain that I got two covers of this major magazine or newspaper, but it wasn't exactly the thing I wanted. But I got the New York Times twice in like two weeks. <laughs> I, and, and it's for transformational work I'm doing. And I'm also a comedian. And I wanted it to be like Tonight Show. You know? <laughs> but it's, 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 it's elevating me. And so are you things. saying to us that you're asking for more gas than you currently believe and that you believe it based upon what's been happening rather than upon what you're asking for that's what you're saying so here's our question for you does it seem to you like your story is more about what you're asking for or your story is more about what you expect to happen it's a big question we're asking all of you the reason we ask is because when you explain some of the things that did happen and then you sort of sheepishly say, but it wasn't quite enough. I wanted more than right. that. I'm ashamed to want more. And so say that now. That's what we want to hear from you. I'm well, we didn't mean to upset you. Um, but I see, I see the part of me that's sh shaming myself. That's like what You're, I grew up with. Like, you should be thankful you have feet. You should be thankful you have water. We, you know, I, my parents had not, came from poverty in the Philippines. So yeah. I'm like, I should be thankful I have a view. I have 21 tennis courts I've got all this abundance and I, I live a comfortable life I'm doing things that I love to do and I want more but I feel like I should just be happy and shut up so let's talk about this we're going to ask you to answer the question as best you can from the viewpoint of your inner being and we're going to speak as an outside voice and you're going to speak as someone in your physical form but speaking from the perspective of your inner being so connected to that coming through my so you sort of have okay. the sense of what this conversation is about did you come into this physical body to maintain the status quo or to create beyond what is yeah, way beyond did you come to regurgitate what other generations had created or did you come to be a new generation Yep, new generation. Did you come to rendezvous with the thoughts of your ancestors or to rendezvous with the thoughts of your current co creative partners? Yeah, co creative partners. Did you come into this physical experience understanding that what was already there would incite within you awareness of improvement? Or did you expect your involvement in what is to make you want to hold back from improvement? 
Did you expect this life experience to cause you to have thoughts of expansion or to have thoughts of holding back? Expansion. Now you're speaking this from your physical perspective, but it certainly is what your inner being knows. When you came into this physical body, did you feel invincible or timid? Hmm. In the body, I felt timid, but there's a part of... We're not talking to your body. We're asking you to oh, look yeah. at it as best you can we want you to extrapolate from what you know about your inner being to find these answers yeah infinite did you expect when you came into this physical body to feel invincible or to feel timid invincible when you came into this physical body did you know your worthiness or did you come to prove it mm, came to prove it right <laughs> right there's there's this conversation what does your inner being say to you about it right and what does when you say I came to prove it what does that feel like in your belly I came to prove it no I came to live it I came to be it I came because I am it and I came to live some diminishment in order to know that diminishment is not my path I came as a leader of my people and lots of peoples I came to thrive to teach through the clarity of my own example I didn't come to cower and suffer and join the ranks of those who don't know I came to thrive and prosper and be among the ranks of those who do know I came to test the boundaries of the universe I came to ask non-physical energy to flow in the direction of what I choose that's how worthy I know myself to be yeah so it's no wonder that when you come across a thought that I should not light up a fire feature I shouldn't do it that's asking a lot it's 20 feet long and the flames are this high it's like Disneyland not really it's just so beautiful and it wastes gas nobody's cooking over it it's not warming anyone it's just out there in the atmosphere it's there for only one reason my pleasure <laughs> <laughs> do I dare ask the universe to provide for me for my pleasure oh yes yes you are here for satisfaction that's why all the contrast exists that's why the new ideas are born that's why the energy flows that's how the universe expands if it were not for your ability to compare and decide and desire there would be nothing new that is moving and all would cease to be you must continue to expand it is your birthright it is your responsibility it is what you are born for and that's why those other thoughts feel so screwy because they are right right oh god i um and that's spectacular i all right so here's the rub yeah here's here's this thing coming. don't try to explain it to your parents <laughs> <laughs> or anyone that that's not on board they all got it So we want you to adapt to your own guidance system and to the feeling of satisfaction. We want you to begin to identify and isolate what the feeling of satisfaction feels like so that you can tell when you're on the right track and when you're not. Because if there are so many people clamoring to get you to not turn on your fire feature, just don't turn it on. Don't turn it on. But the potential of it is so real, but don't turn it on. It makes your house howl. Don't turn it on. Don't let yourself want that. That's too much to right, want. Right, right. Stop wanting so much. Stop wanting it. Good luck with that. <laughs> you think if Esther had said, okay, I'll just never turn that on. It's okay. Every day she'd look out there and she'd think, you should be on fire. <laughs> you just look stupid. You look like a flower bed with no flowers. Maybe I could take the lava rock out and the pipes out and put dirt in and put flowers in it. Not now I've seen fire. <laughs> it's called a fire feature. It's not called a fireless feature. <laughs> it's not called a takes too much gas feature. It's not a I settled feature. It's not a I'll settle for less than I desire feature. 
it's that I will live up to the potential of that which I am and if this time space reality has the wherewithal to give me a desire it has the wherewithal to provide the resources for me to live it fully and I deserve it and you do and you do and you're just getting started and oh wow enough uh, then so here's a this is a thing I think is in my shadow how in my new chapter do I pursue relationships whether they're casual do I create casual am I allowed to have casual relationships because now I feel like I'm clear everything that we just said to you relationships is the only thing that's outside of that <laughs> you're allowed everything you want except with relationships and with relationships you must settle for things you don't want every relationship you have should suck from now on and if there's anything that you think you really want get over it because you're not gonna have it now see how ridiculous that sounds yes oh my god thank you so much awesome thank you there is so much love for you from us in this moment take it easy there is great love here for you and for now we are complete. Thank you. Now, the gentleman.